So David Chava Chalayan approaching the red corner. Representing the Republic of Uzbekistan. Please welcome Lazis Bek Lashora. Laziz Bek Mulojonov of Uzbekistan will be boxing out of the blue corner. Rico Garcia Geron of Guatemala is our referee. And we are underway. Quarter final action in the super heavyweight division between boxers from Armenia and Uzbekistan. The Southpaw wearing blue, who has just scored with a good left cross, is Lazizbek Molozhonov. 22 years of age from Tashkent, his opponent. He's 24 years old, the man wearing red, David Chaloyan of Armenia. Third bout of the tournament for both of these men, who are both competing in their first world championship event. But these guys have met before. Earlier this summer, in the 2021 World Military Championships in Moscow, these guys met at the semi-final stage, and it was Mulajanov who prevailed on a 3-1 split, excuse me, who prevailed to go through to the gold medal bout where he duly won gold, beating Chalayan on a 4-1 split at the semi-final stage. So recent history because neither man has boxed since that World Military Championships in Moscow just a few weeks ago. So how significant will their previous encounter be here as we approach the midpoint of the opening round? Good left hand score to the body and right hand upstairs by the South Poor in blue. Both men have demonstrated terrific skill through this run to the quarter final stage. The 4 1 split decision victory over the man from Iran in his opening contest in the round of 32 for Mulajanov for eliminating England's delicious Ori at the round of 16 stage. As for Chalayan, he had a really hard fought contest against Christian Salcedo, the 2019 Pan Am Games silver medalist in the round of 16. And a really clever display against the Ukrainian Olympian Tsotne Rogava, where he used hitting and moving tactics to box his way to a 4 1 split decision verdict. So, closing 20 seconds of this opening round, Molozhonov is looking to give his man angles Chalayan. Put on the end of a flashing right hand there, but look at that for a burst of combination punching by Mulajanov and a hard left hand whipped into the body by the man in blue. Well, Mulajanov is taking his time getting back to his corner. I think he did enough to take that opening round. 
scoring to both head and body but how have the judges seen it so 10-9 for all five scoring judges Laziz Bek Molojanov taking the opening round unanimously So into the second round then. David Chalayan conceding the first across the board. That's why he's come out more aggressively. But he's not yet found the range. Takes a clipping style, poor left on the inside. He scored with a left hook upstairs after he was hit with a hard left hand that was whipped into his body. Well, Ajanov turning the palm up, put palm upwards and really driving that shot home. Nice movement in the pocket, but a clipping right hand landing by Chalayan to catch. Molojanov, Molojanov coming forwards, takes the right hand upstairs. Now look at that for a response though. Terrific accuracy with that southpaw left. But Chalayan comes right back. With a minute gone, torrid exchanges between these two boxers. And remember, we're in the 92 kilogram plus super heavyweight division as a terrific left hook slams home from Chalayan. What a change in tempo, resulting in terrific two-way action. And Chalayan driving his man back towards his own corner. Good portion of the round for him as he scores with hooks and uppercuts. There's a flashing left hook and a right uppercut. And all of a sudden, Mulajonov is keen to initiate a clinch. The first half of the round has been absolutely fought at a furious pace. Terrific work from Chalayan. This is a fantastic response. Conceding the second round, the prospect of progression through to the final four of the tournament and the medal rostrum spurring on Chalayan as he catches his man with another left hand and drives home another right hook. And Mulajanov being put under consistent pressure here by the accurate punch picking of David Chalayan. What a response. Can he keep it going? We've seen him make adjustments on the fly as he's picked off by a southpaw right there. As Mulajanov comes back at the two men exchange, big punches at mid range. In his opening contest I mentioned against the Rogava of Ukraine it was sticking and moving that he used in the second from the second round onwards to box his way to that split decision victory here after being outscored in the first round Chalayan while has really got on the front foot and after an even start to the second round where both men enjoyed success I think that clear portion of dominance in the middle section of the round is enough for Chalayan to have taken that one. But again, how will the judges see it? Fantastic punch output and a clear, discernible change of tactics from Chalayan, making an adjustment, having conceded the fight the first round. And he has taken it on a 3-2 split. So that is three scorecards of 19 points apiece. Molojanov leading by two points, 20 to 18 for judges three and four. But the spirited response produced by Chalayan has got him right back into this. And by taking the second round by three scores to two, that means we have a contest that has come down to the final three minutes. Had he only taken it for two of the judges, that would have put an entirely different complexion on the third round. And a man in red would effectively need a stoppage. But look at the right-hand success once again from Chalayan. And once more, as Mulajanov taking right hand repeatedly in the first 15 seconds of this final round. He lands a clipping right of his own. 
Both men, thanks to Aiba Life scoring, will be aware of the contest. Chalayan changing tack and whipping in a right hand bolo shot to the body. Both men missing with their attempted backhands, but look at the volume being produced by Chalayan, keeping Molojanov occupied. He takes in a big gulp of breath, goes in search of his man, but couldn't find any accuracy with his work. Molojanov pressing. Chalayan using movement effectively to make him fall short. And it's Molojanov who is noticeably the one maintaining the clinch. Boxers beyond punching range now. Terrific success for Chalayan. Left hand success was slow and rather ponderous. Could be counted as he was there. Molojanov, his punch pace has slowed down. He takes uppercut through the middle. He's keen to hold on once again as we approach the midpoint of the round. Chalayan appearing fit, fitter and fresher than his opponent. The competitive spirit of Molojanov continuing to blaze brightly, but how much can he demonstrate it from a physical perspective? Because he appears to be feeling the pace more than his opponent from Armenia. He's looking to continue the momentum that he established. And look at that, swing and a miss from Molojanov. And then he's touched up by nudging uppercuts like that on the inside. Molojanov conceding an awful lot of punches here. And he's holding on, looking to save himself for a big finish. But in the meantime, he takes another jolting right cross on a left hand. He comes back with a left cross of his own out of the southpaw stance. Absolutely terrific stuff. Molojanov grimacing as he tries to get his hands free to work away. Inside the final minute of what has been a pulsating final round so far. But Molojanov is though all he can launch is a single shot. And if it doesn't land, he has to fall into a clinch. He comes forward, made Chalayan miss, but then couldn't make him pay. Chalayan, with physicality, pushing his man off to get him back beyond punching range. Closing seconds in what is a terrific atmosphere here at the Stark Arena. A contest that is in the balance that was all square, 19 points apiece after two rounds of boxing. Molojanov willing his way forwards with body and headshot success. Big right hand to the body, right into the sternum from Chalayan. Molojanov getting busy but takes a right cross on the belt. And I think that David Chalayan of Armenia has taken that final round and thereby will take the contest if, remember, he takes it unanimously. Because it was all square, 19 points apiece after for three judges after two rounds of boxing. Molojanov led 20 points to 18 for two of the judges. Remember, we need an absolute majority of the five scoring judges. Which way is this one going to go? I think Chalayan deserves it. What say the five observers ringside? And there is confirmation. David Chalayan with a terrific turnaround. Beating the man who bested him at the World Military Championships just a few weeks ago with a terrific come from behind victory. 3-2, five scores of 29 to